What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex. In this video, I want to discuss the Batman Return to Arkham uh, website as well as Arkham Legacy's website. Now, I talked about this, obviously, at the very end of yesterday's video. Definitely make sure you guys go check that one out if you you feel so inclined. But I kind of hinted that this was going to be the next thing I wanted to discuss. Uh, We had the whole false thing with the website, which definitely sucks. But, you know, (laughs) there's really, honestly, not much more we can all do right now uh, than to just just move on and just get ready for whatever ends up happening. However, in the video, in that video yesterday when I talked about, you know, what are the positives we can look at, I did see a couple comments saying like one of those job postings that are very clearly on there now that now they don't, they don't have that error message, the warning or the whole like uh, we're doing ongoing maintenance, one of the posts does indeed say current gen. So that is still there. So that is, uh, that's a good note. I mean, that's just something that we don't have a lot of positivity. I've seen a lot of other people uh, also discuss how it's seen, and I've seen, I've, uh, I agree with this assertion as well. There's a lot of posts for like level designers and stuff like that, and, and not just that, but there are definitely some positions that would indicate a game is an early development, not necessarily all the way through. However, game companies are are always going through people. That That is a sad reality of the industry. Also, we know that they're making two games, so one is a lot further in development than the other. So just because they have posts for that kind of thing that that would kind of show that there may be early in a game doesn't mean it has to be for this first Arkham game. And again, it could also just be because you're constantly looking for people. There's been studios, even famously the studio that made L.A. Noir. Remember from the publisher Rockstar, if you guys remember the game L.A. Noir, that studio, Team Bondi, they went through so many people throughout so many years, uh, and you would you would have been able to say the same thing, like, oh, maybe they're just early in development. No, it's just because people kept quitting or getting fired or whatever. So that could be the case here. I just wanted to get all that out of it because there are still some positives to look at even though the website was basically a bust, right? Now, one of the other things that came out that coincided with this, and, and I, again, I already said it and I already hinted at it, but I really want to discuss more or less why, like why is it this way, is we already knew for quite a while, for several, I'd say months, right, Ever, especially ever since that Arkham Legacy uh, got leaked, so I believe it was probably months, it was probably early October, there were people that had said, if you type in BatmanArkhamLegacy.com, so if you type that in right now, it'll link you, it'll go directly to the Return to Arkham collection that official website. Now, that is not surprising in its own right. And I had said that in yesterday's video. Like, I want to be an optimist. I want to be super excited and say, like, well, that could mean this and that. Like, it could. It absolutely could. So if you're on the bandwagon that, like, that means something, I, I don't think it's impossible that it means something. However, companies all the time uh, will kind of buy up or or claim ownership of these websites of all these different kind of variations of a way you'd say something uh, just in case, literally just in case, just so that they own uh, that property basically. You see it all the time. You see it with music. You see it for games. You see it for You see it with literally everything, okay? Like they'll get, they'll get the patents for like 10 different things like PlayStation, any way of saying PlayStation 5, I guarantee you they own it because they're just trying to kind of protect their backs so nobody can run kind of a fake website you could say so that's honestly what they could have done is we knew the game was in development right Arkham Legacy from what the description of the game was was 100% being made so you have to think that at that time they had purchased or they they got the rights to that website and that was theirs so now when you go to it it's still theirs it just links to return to Arkham all right the biggest thing the, the biggest hope, I guess, and shred of positivity that I can give, and I talked about yesterday, but let's talk about why, is now when you go to the Return to Arkham website, it's not there. It literally does not appear. I think I'm going to have a screenshot for you guys, but I mean, it's not hard to do it yourselves. It literally says it's the site can't be reached screen, right? Batman return to Arkham.com server IP address could not be found. So the IP address is gone. They removed the, that's a big deal. Um, I don't know why, or that, I guess that's the question is why would they do something like this? Now this, I believe from everything I've seen, because I was, I think I, I came in late to it. Uh, I believe on January 
January 1st was the first day that this happened. If it happened before, if one of you guys for some reason went on that website before January 1st and it was there or it wasn't there, definitely let me know in the comments. But you can still buy the game. I've said that in yesterday's video. You can still buy the game. You can still go to basically like the Warner Bros. games page, which which shows it, tells you where you could buy it from, uh, gives like the synopsis or like the brief overview of what the game is. So all of that kind of stuff, it gives it to you there. But if you visit the official website, which used to exist, and again, the return, the Batman Arkham Legacy, when you did that, it sent you right over to that one, to Return to Arkham. Uh, it is gone now. And it's just very... Now, again, we know the website thing from all we can kind of gather was just, I guess, me making a bigger deal of it than it really should have been, even though I'm, I will defend myself any day. Uh, I don't really think I did. But the ongoing maintenance seems to have just referred to whether it be either the job postings or just maybe the website in general. I would believe uh, the website in general, but maybe just like its structure, like how it operates. So while that kind of turned out to be nothing, it did coincide around the same time that this happened. But also, like, this is a big deal. We talked about it so much, and I say in every video, how can they continue to go day by day, week, months, and in, in multiple months at this point without actually having an active website? Now, I guess it doesn't affect them again that much because I guess the only thing that you would really need their website for is job postings if you have no no game to announce and the job postings are there. So really, I guess the website serves the functions that it needs to serve. But same argument there, honestly, could be amplified in this case with this return to Arkham. Sure, you can buy the game at GameStop, you can buy it at Best Buy, you can buy it at, like and it'll link you to all of these places on that Warner Bros games page, but the official website for the game is gone. Now that is just not something that I, I personally don't think that's a thing that you just accept, that that's just, it. oh, it just is what it is. You know, this game's website that had always been there, it's just gone. Um, it could be a thing where, and this does happen, where if you don't renew it, right, the website will be taken from you, right? Basically, you, you'll lose ownership of the website and it'll just become nothing. So maybe they didn't renew it for 2020, but why? I mean, yeah, it's a game that came out a few years ago, but it's still a collection. It's still a, a big game. It's still a game that I'm sure sells copies, not thousands, but sells copies like every day. And when they have sales, I'm sure it picks up and you can bet your bottom dollar that in like August, August and September when there was all this talk of the new game people go back and they buy these old games or these old collections so like the website's kind of important like it, it like it just is I don't really know any other way of explaining to you and you know for the haters out there hello this isn't like a video really speculating or saying much at all because it's it's more of just a discussion of like can you allow something like that to happen and does it mean anything really does the fact that the return to Arkham uh, collection but you know Batman return Turn to Arkham, the website, is it does it mean something that it's gone now? That it just so happens to be gone again because I first noticed this noticed this on January 2nd, and from what I can tell, January 1st was the first day. Maybe it is just a 2020 thing. Like I know there was some there's things in the news of like some video games, there's like a bug built into some games that they don't work now that the year is 2020, which is just the dumbest thing. Maybe so maybe it's a bug, maybe it's something with uh, their ownership of like the rights of that name for the website, maybe it's something like that. I I honestly don't. I don't know. I don't know. And, and I can't reach out to them because they don't e email me back or do anything like that. So it's not like I can get official statement from them. It's just very weird. And again, to, I guess, build on the hype train or if you if you want to believe in positivity. And really, that's what it is. Again, for, for defending myself or, or saying yet again what I'm always trying to do. I've gone over what I actually want of this game, small teaser, or at least recognition that the game exists, but I also don't want to be super, I, I, I will pick my moments of being super negative, but I, I try to look for a lot of positivity in things, um, and for this game, like, the positivity is, it's still real, it's still happening, um, and if you want to look for some other shred of positivity, we're in a new year. It's a new age, right? We can, and I said that in a few videos ago. We can all just take a deep breath and, and embrace whatever this year gives us. And with this coinciding with it, it's just very strange. Like, you have to, like, does it come back? And if it comes back, like, why was it taken down in the first place? I think we've gotten to the po point with the website. I've seen some people say it, like, there's no way the website can come back. And I, I mean, that's. 
again, I think people are kind of making my point without even thinking about it. There's no way the website comes back without something with it regarding a new game. I just 1,000% think that's never going to happen. If the website comes back, that means it comes with something. I had always said that it comes right after an announcement of the game. I guess depending on how you look at time or which one you look at first, it would probably be at the exact same time, right? Like say on their YouTube channel, their Twitter page, all the stuff, they announce the new game, right? They do whatever they want to do. And then and you'll probably see that first because I don't know how many people are checking their website minute by minute. And then you would go to their website and it's it's just back up, right? And you and you could probably just assume, oh, they went up at the exact same time. That's always what I had assumed was going to happen. I guess the only other thing was what we had kind of talked about a few days ago is like, well, does the website come back and then like there's a teaser there or is there a countdown to something? Like, what do you do? But like, no matter what, it's going to coincide with with something. And you're also not just going to put on a website. So if there's a timer counting down on their website, you know they would tweet about it. You know you know some place or Warner Bros themselves would say something about it too. So like things like that you can kind of expect. So again, if you're looking for positivity, it's just weird. I mean, this is a, a new month it's possible. Any month, any week, any day is possible that this game can get announced. I know a lot of people have just continued to pick days. Maybe it gets announced at Sony's presentation for the PS5. I've seen that being floated around. We can talk about it if that's something you guys want me to talk about. Uh, maybe E3. Maybe a Game Informer. I mean, there are times, again, like I've always said, they could just announce it whenever. And judging by what's happened, it seems to be the plan. Although I always say that, and then it always gets to the point where it's like, well, all of those days kind of pass, so maybe they are waiting for a conference. So very confusing, very weird, but at the same time, I still have hope. I have just as much hope as always. The website thing, you know, whatever. Aside from that, uh, I still think it's coming. I think that this website thing, it, it, it's not something. Like, I don't expect anything. I don't expect that website to come back and then all of a sudden they announce their new game. Okay, so I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is that it's weird. Like, why? Why? Can somebody point to why is the website down and why would they allow something like that to happen? But again, like, doesn't matter. Like, why would they allow it? Why would Warner Bros. allow a lot of things that Warner Bros. Montreal uh, to have done this year to have happened, right? Why would they have let that happen? So your answers are just as good as mine. So guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about, about all of this. So what do you think happens to the website? When do you think we're getting an announcement? Again, you know, I like to throw these videos in every so often. Obviously, I had to pivot a little bit because of this website fiasco. Um, but we're going to be doing different kinds of videos. There'll be more speculative videos about Arkham. So, you know, two to three videos every single week. We have a new video coming to you guys, I believe, Tuesday. So, like, two-ish videos uh, next week. We'll be mixing it up again, just random kind of topics. I have a really fun idea for a topic that's going to be going up Tuesday. And I hope you guys all like it, okay? So, thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you all on the next video video.